Hey guys, Sunstreaker was here, and today I thought I'd do a video about different combinations of bots and what bots work well together and what combinations I use in wars and in leveling, in general teams and things like that. Um, I power level regardless of what event I was on and what I'm doing because TF Core is a pure war alliance every week every event every day war 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 so our number one priority is getting our war team up there to maybe 12 13k as soon as possible and the best way to do that is power leveling if you're not sure what power leveling is go and search it out i've got a few videos of my own i'm going to do some more videos um specific with specific bots like sunstreaker and strafe and uh, things like that but it's definitely worth looking up guys if you're not sure how to power level and what power leveling is but that's for another video to talk about. Again, today's video, like I said, is all about combination bots. So, I, everyone has their own way of playing. And, everyone, and this is just my opinion. And like I said, um, if you disagree with it, if you've got a different way, please put in the comments. We'll discuss it. And if you've got a different combination of bots, um, then please yeah, comment below and let me know. And I'll, I'll try them out and do a video on it. And I'll also, obviously quote your questions and your requests in the video and give you a shout out if there are anything new that I haven't seen and anything that uh, I've not thought about. So going into looking at um, my teams, so generally how I sort of organise my teams is I always have a tank, I always have a gunner and I always try and have some kind of sort of aerial or jet in my team. That's pretty much standard as such. And the reason for the, each one of those is you've got to have a tank there to soak up the damage. Uh, I've heard of people running gunners and healers only, but you've got to have really high level gunners for that to have considerable health. So, and not a lot of people have got them apart from the top five guys. So you've really got to have at least one tank in there just to soak up that damage from all defences while the other bots are sort of doing their thing and destroying defences around them. So when I'm running these, I tend to have two tanks, just to back up, because the last thing you want to do is you lose one tank, and then you've got none left, and your bosses get bombarded, and your gunners and your jets don't have that much health, and your healers are not going to keep them alive. So you could try it with one tank, but I like to have two personally, and that's the same in my war teams, that's the same in every sort of team that I run. So you can see here, I've got hotspot and pipes, they're my tanks. Um, then Jet, I've got Skydive, and then my Gunner is Jazz. And then what I tend to do is, I tend to have maybe another Gunner or something, and maybe a healer if I can. And the reason I have two Gunners is, if you're using Jazz's ability, and you, your bots are stuck on a wall, then they're still getting bombarded with things, they're still getting hit by defences. So if you've got a Gunner, they can still shoot over the wall, even when Jazz is busy, because obviously... The two main bots I'm going to be using in this attack here is Skydive and Jazz. They're the two main abilities I'll be using. So you really could do with a gunner, really, a second gunner, just sit behind and just take it on defences while Jazz is busy. First aid, obviously there, just to sort of keep my bots alive. So you can see the same sort of setup here. So two bots, two uh, tanks, sorry. And then Jetfire, who's my plane. And Bravo, which is my gunner. And same again, same setup. I've got Mirage as a second gunner. Again, for when Bravo or Jetfire are busy. And I've got Ratchet to try and keep them alive. Uh, Huffer's ability is really good at the minute. Uh, using quite well. So that's another thing to add into this. And obviously Otter's Prime is great for getting your bots out of trouble and dragging them away from danger. So yeah, a really good team set up there. Same sort of thing again. We've got two tanks, we've got Strafe. Now, even though Strafe isn't a jet, it's still an aerial bot as such, and it's great AoE bot for taking out a lot of defences all at once. Prowl, I put him in. Same thing, it's again, for a, for a gunner. And then Cliff Jumper's in there for two reasons. A, because of the gunner, for the same reason against you of the wall. But also, if you're pairing Cliff Jumper up with Strafe, then that's a really good partnership because Cliff Jumper makes Strafe do obviously 40% extra damage with his ability, and so it takes out more defences on his run. 
So yeah, that's the reason that I partner those two up together. And no is in there just to sort of help everyone out, sort of thing with minions, help clear up just general stuff like that. And just get that off a second. And then on this one, you see I've only got one tank. And that's just basically because none of my tanks are really high level enough to sort of fit this team. So I've gone more of an attacking team with this one. So Stun Streaker can take out everything. I attack I attack zone 12 with all these teams, basically. Um, and Stun Streaker can take everything out in zone 12. So we've got Stun Streaker in there, which is a gunner. We've got Firefly in there. We've got Rodimus as a second gunner. Wheeljack as a healer. And small screen. I really like small screen for taking out outpost bots. So yeah, pretty much standard. But then we go to this team, and you can see you look at all my teams there. They're all around the 8K mark. 8K, nearly almost 8K, almost 8K, uh, 8K. If you look at this one, and I've talked about it in lots of videos. I won't go on about it too much, but yes, yeah, Star Saber, the man. And this is the reason that I have this sort of setup. Because once you put Star Saber in, Rust Dust the Hound are really good at clearing up. So generally AoE bots. And then simply, I've put Cup in there. If I come up against a time trap base where there's no defences at the top, I will literally solo it with Cup. Now I weren't looking enough to have a 4 star, but Cup is really important in wars at the minute. A good war technique is to use Cup. But when I've got my cup leveled up, I'll do a video on it. I'm going to do a video on some war attacks. That's again for another video. But yeah, try and get your cup leveled up. Even if it's a freestyle, guys, try and get your cup leveled up. It's uh, really worthwhile at the minute, especially in wars. It's a good technique to use him for. But yeah, so as a general rule of thumb, try and keep... What I tend, especially in wars, what I tend to do is... I tend to have two teams. I tend to have a one-shot team... And I have an AOE team. So this is my one shot team. So you can see by my one shot team. You've got the two tanks as normal. Optimus Prime and High and Hide. I always keep Optimus in there for Prime Rushes. Uh, I'm not sure what Prime Rush is. If you haven't really discovered that yet. Go and watch my other video on Prime Rush. It's really important. The number one war technique in the game. That you have to learn. Really really important. So yeah. A lot of one shots. So Jetfire. One shot bot. He can... Um, only one shot um, beams and launches at the minute um, but that's what Bravo's for Bravo's there to kill the mortars he can one shot mortars Prowl and Firefly both one, sh one shot bots same again there for beams and launchers and first aid I love first aid is really changed my attacks in war and really improved them with his uh, AOE um, healing as such and his uh, medibots just remember his medibots don't heal guys they have a shield bot so use them before don't wait till your bots have lost all their health and then use them use them beforehand in your attacks to keep your bots alive they won't regen health all they do is shield remember that important point so on my second one so you can see here as such this sort of second one that I sort of use in my wars and this is more AOE led. So you can see there, I've split them up into sort of two. So AOE led, I have Star Saber, and then they have the likes of Strafe and Sunstreaker to sort of rust us to sort of clear up. Now, this, I tested this a bit, this sort of base, and a few bots need a bit more effort into them. I need to get rust dust and hound up. I think once they're up to 52, then this sort of setup of team will be a lot more effective. But I could really do with sea spray and dust up in there. Anyone that really knows me and is in the chats with me knows I'm really hungry for sea spray. I really need him to sort of complete this team and dust up. And if I can replace Sunstreaker and Jazz with dust up and sea spray, it'll make a huge difference to this team on pure cost. Because Star Saber is really costly, then dust up and sea spray will clear up after him at a low cost. And that's the sort of, if you're, using C, uh, if you're using Star Saber, it's really important to try and have low cost bots. I've talked in the uh, Air Force Twitch about trying to lower Hound's cost. Because Hound's a great bot and he's got a good ability but it's really costly. And it doesn't work well in an AOE team. And it's definitely not one shot until, until a really, really high level. It's not going to do much. 
real in the case of taking out defences single-handedly. So at the minute, he's not got much love by everyone really. He's okay, but he's good gunner as such, but his ability just isn't right. I think it's far too costly for what you get. It's a bit too random for me for how much it costs. So yeah, when using say Star Saber especially, try and use low cost EOE bots. Um another sort of good setup is using some of your jets with air raid or even jazz with air raid. Now I've sort of dissed air raid in the past and for me, to honest with you, I still don't think he's that good. I don't use him in any of my war teams and the way that I judge a bot is how much I use him in wars. Now a lot of guys swear by him lower guys and no offence guys but air raid is good on lower HQs where it's all compact. You find that lower guys tend to compact all their bases and really stick them all together. So you tend to find that there's little like parts where there's mortar and a beam right next to each other with another beam right next to each other. So you can take three or four defences out in one shot with air raid and a jet or air raid and jazz. But when you look at a HQ-15, when you really look at something, look at my base right now. And there probably is parts where you think, you know what, air raid could probably have attack in that. But for the cost it takes, especially with Jazz, 13 ability points, there's better uses out there for them ability points for HQ-15s. It just really doesn't cut it. And for me, having those two jets, once you use Air Raid's ability, it gets quite costly. And to use them again, and to have an extra jet in your team that can't do much on his own. If you were to pair him with Jazz, say, and you put Jazz in your team, and you're depending on Jazz, and Jazz dies, what is Air Raid going to do? Unless you've got another bot there. And I think that when attacking in wars, you always need a plan B. You always think, you know what? If I lose this bot, I've got another bot to depend on. So that's a reason why I'm not really keen on using Air Raid. Unless you're a lower guy, lower down, then yeah. you One of the top bots, I think, in the game, if you're a lower guy, lower down. But once you get to a higher HQ, he sort of becomes worthless. Um, same again, if you disagree with that then please put it in the comments, we'll discuss it again but that is honestly my opinion and the opinion of a lot of top guys in the game. I spoke to a lot of guys lower than me and they've really argued and I see their point of view, I really do. But uh, higher HQs, not really, it doesn't really cut it. Um, looking that through, that sort of covers most of the bots really to honest with you uh, and most of the partnerships. So yeah, to sort of sum up really, just remember, try and keep all your one-shot bots together and, and sort of attack one by one, take out mortars and beams. Or try and keep your AOE bots together. And I'm not saying that's a strict rule, I'm saying like, I'm not saying you can't have a team with strafe and prowl in it for argument's sake, you can have. But what I'm saying is, especially if using high-cost AOE bots like Star Saber, you need some low-cost EOE box in there to sort of clear up after him. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe. I've been set a target of 500 subscribers by Space Ape and if I get that, I'll get access to the pre-build um, so I can showcase all the new bots and tell you guys how I would use them, how I would put them in my team and what they would partner with well. But until then, yeah, I do need more subscribers. So yeah, please, if you like my videos and you want to get um, notifications on my new videos coming out, things like that, then yeah, please subscribe. If you liked it, please like it, share it between your alliances, more than welcome. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it, and peace out.